Welcome to today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss half-wave rectifier examples. Example 1 shown here, you have this circuit, which is the circuit of a half-wave rectifier. The supply voltage is 220 volt 50 hertz. Diode D1 is a half-wave rectifier. And ROL is the load resistor, 5 ohm load resistor why the transformer has a turns ratio of 15 to 1. Now we are asked to find now we are asked to find the average output voltage V out average, the average load current I out average, the RMS load voltage V out RMS, the RMS load current I out RMS, the ripple factor of the output voltage the RMS ripple voltage, the diode current ID average, the RMS load current ID RMS, the peak inverse voltage of the diode, the average output power P out AC, the DC output power P out DC, and then the frequency of the output ripple, and finally the input power factor. So we are going to calculate all of these expressions. Now, to get the formulas or the equations that we can use in solving this problem, please want to look at the description below where in a previous video, we discussed the derivations of expressions that could be used in solving problems of half-wave rectifier circuit. So in that video, you are going to see the, the, the derivations of all these formulas we are going to use in this example. So let us proceed by solving this problem one after the other. So first of all, we have that the primary transformer voltage VP is giving us 220 volts. And so the secondary voltage Vs will be equal to VP over N and that is 220 volt over 15, which gives us 14.67 volt as the secondary voltage. Now, the peak voltage, Vm, will be given as root 2 Vs, and that is root 2 times 14.67, which gives 20.75 volt. So let's begin with the first, which is the V out average. V at average is equal to Vm over pi. That's simply 20.75 divided by pi, which is equal to 6.6 .6 volts. And then number two, I at average is equal to V at average over RL. That's 6.6 .6 over 5. That's 1.32 ampere. Next, we have V out root mean square, which is equal to Vm all over 2. And that is 20.75 divided by 2. Two, which gives 10.375 volts. Next we have I at root mean square is V out root mean square over RL which is equal to 10.375 over 5. That is equal to 2.075 amperes. So next we have the ripple factor which is equal to 1.21 V at average over V at average, which is simply equal to 1.21 or 121%. The V arrow root mean square, which is the ripple voltage, is 1.21 V out average, which is 1.21 times 6.6, .6, and that is equal to 7.6. 986 volts. Next, we have the diode current, average diode current. The average diode current is the same as I at average, which is 1.32 ampere. It is the same as the load current. And then the RMS diode current is the same as I at RMS, which is 2.075 ampere. Then the peak inverse voltage, PIV, is equal to the peak voltage, VM, and that is 20.75 volt. And then the output power, P out AC, is equal to the square of the root mean square current times load RL, which is the same as V 
v at root mean square times i at root mean square and that gives us so our p out ac will be equal to 2.075 square times 5 which is equal to 21.53 watts next we have the output dc power the output dc power is equal to v out average times i at average that's equal to 6.6 .6 times 1.32 which is 8.71 watts and then the ripple frequency is the same as the supply frequency which is 50 hertz and then we have finally the power factor is equal to p out ac all over vs is that's equal to 21.53 all over 40.67 times 2.3 zero seven five that gives us zero point seven zero seven okay so that's that's about this example you see that it is very very easy to solve if you have the formulas on the derivations like i mentioned earlier on you want to look at the earlier video which can be seen in the description below so that's all for this class see you in the next class